What do you think this is? A typewriter, a TV, or monitor, or a game? I absolutely love these kinds of gadgets. It's a product that doesn't look serious yet manages to do everything exceptionally well. This is the Devoom D2. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but whatever it is, while it's a beautiful piece, aesthetically pleasing, and can naturally fit as retro home decor, I like to take it seriously for what it does best, playing music. Yes, this is first and foremost a Bluetooth speaker before anything else. What's up guys, it's Victor here again. In this video, I will unbox, review and walk you through my experience with this alien gadget right here. And as always, I have timestamps in the description below as a table of contents to various sections of this video. Please subscribe if you're not and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell icon so that you'll be notified the next time and every other time I post a new video like this one. The D2 comes packaged like a gift bag, the bag that came alongside it seems to be tailored for only the device. The size of the bag shows some headline features and specs of the device as well as provide a QR code that links to the download page of the Devoom app. Inside the gift bag is a hard case that contains the D2 device itself, and you can see the device through the transparent door. Inside the case and below the foil that holds the D2 in place is a user manual, USB Type-C cable, and some Pixel Art sticker that look cool. I was curious, I mean this thing looks like a complete classic ATS PC with mechanical keys and a pixel art display. How could I not be excited? To my surprise, the D2 has turned out to be more than just a gimmick. The most striking and unique feature of the D2 is its design and appearance which looks like a vintage CRT monitor computer monitor on top of a CPU. I thought it was fantastic. There are 6 truly mechanical keyboard keys here and pressing them gives off a satisfying feeling. Just to the right of the keys is a lever that is very reminiscent of arcades or manual car gear switch, which is exactly the look they were aiming for. On the right of the base is where you will find the USB-C charging port, the power switch, and a micro SD card slot for loading up your music collection without the need of using the phone via Bluetooth. The monitor is so cool. The display itself is a 16 by 16 series of LEDs inside the bulky frame. On the top of the display is the 10W 360 degree speaker, which sounds really great. We will get to that part in a bit. It also has a bass port at the back of the screen which allows it to have very rich bass. The D2 comes with a glossy finish which looks good, though it does attract fingerprints, it does a good job of resisting scratches. The D2 also has a good width to it that screams quality and premium. I had a swell time exploring all the features and capabilities of this device. Apart from being a Bluetooth speaker, the Devoom D2 can be other things but first, let's talk about this device as a speaker. For this being a $95 speaker, and with some of that price coming from the display and overall aesthetic, the sound production is pretty good. If you are a sound professional, it might not blow you away, but for some of us who are just casual music listeners that appreciate good sound when we hear it, this is so good. At 50% volume, the sound is loud enough for small to medium sized rooms. If you need more volume, you can get the sound up to 100% but the sound will start clipping or picking. Again, it is loud enough at 50% to fill most rooms but not enough to be a party jam box. A number of animations or equalizers can be displayed on the pixel screen while you're listening to music or just have the device powered on. I love the backgrounds and they are reminiscent of the good old Windows Media Player. If you don't fancy animations, you can choose from a collection of solid and picture backgrounds or have a digital clock that syncs to the clock on your phone app here. You can even design and create your own animations and custom text that can be displayed on the screen through the use of the Devoom app that can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. When you press the menu button, which is the yellow button with the letter M, you are greeted by a number of additional features. So starting at the beginning is a collection of games. Within the sub-menu are some classics like Tetris, Snake, Breakout, and Flappy Bird, a racing type game and a line deleting game, an odd slot machine, Magic 8-Ball, and Dice Ruler are also present. Then an ad board for painting which I found to be useless and more of a gimmick. Then there is a tools menu containing a stopwatch, a decibel meter for calculating noise level and a timer. Back to the main menu, you find the alarm app which was quite a typical use case of this device for me because the device looks like a digital alarm clock. When you set the alarm through the Devoom app, you can select which alarm tone to use. 
and there are a couple of alarm ringtones that sounded great, including some nature sounds that can be useful for meditation. The last menu is the music source selection app with Bluetooth and microSD card options available. The D2 has a voice recorder feature built into it that can be activated by holding down the lever when outside of the menus. The recording quality isn't great but if you ever need to take a quick voice note, it's at your service. A long press of the yellow menu key will turn the backlight of the mechanical keys off. Now let's talk about the Devoom app for a moment. Why the D2 can be used independently without the app, you can only unlock the D2's full potential with the app. The app also makes the D2 easier and more fun to use. All functions on the D2 can be easily selected with the app. And for the games, your phone will even act as a wireless controller or trackpad if you ever need it. The app also unlocks some other possibilities like the ability to show and ring notifications on the D2 device from apps like Facebook or WhatsApp. Thanks to the D2's built-in microphone, it can even be used to answer phone calls even though the quality is not fantastic. The biggest use case for the app though is the Pixel Screen Designer. You can design your pixel art from scratch or choose from a large gallery of already designed art and animations from the two users all over the world. If you want to share your own art to the gallery so other users can download, you can create and upload them as well. The animator is more instinctive than I thought it would be. Just like me, you would think it would be hard but it's not. You can have up to 60 frames for an animation with a speed controlled by the user or designer. You also get to see what you animated come to life in real time so you can make all the adjustments you need to make easily. I have really been enjoying the D2 in my space as a way to keep track of time and to output some music while working on my computer. The sound machine with some fantastic soothing nature sound has also been a delightful bonus that I did not expect to use as much as I have. The D2 has a decent battery life, it lasts for 9 hours or more depending on your usage pattern or what is displayed or the volume at which music is played. Charging only takes a couple of hours with the provided USB Type-C port, so the D2 can be back in wireless action quickly. A tap on the back button will let you see the battery level of the device. The Devoom D2 is a fantastic retro looking device that can keep you scouting for more capabilities or possibilities. However, I think some things could have been done better, like the battery performance. I also found the battery level indicator to be deceiving or misleading. When you raise the volume above 50%, the picking or sound clipping gets me concerned about whether the device will blow up like a balloon. The Devoom D2 is arguably one of the coolest looking devices I've seen in a while. With that said, it is most useful for me as a display piece or a home decor piece or an alarm clock than as a speaker. I love to have some awesome animations playing on its display while it appears behind me in a video or as a clock on my desk. The design of the device doesn't allow me to take it out to the office or for a hike unless you carry it along with the case. It also works well for me as a nature sound machine as I lay down at night or try to meditate. There are a ton of functionalities and possibilities with the Devoom D2 device. I will leave a link to where you can get or buy this device if you are interested in the description box below. Please subscribe if you are not and don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks guys for watching this one. I will see you when I see you in the next one. Peace.